Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, the Coach. Taking you the rest of the way. Here's Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Brandon, Coach, we will begin this challenge in the third quarter with three minutes remaining. You're ahead on the score board. You've got the ball on your own 25-yard line. As we get set here, first and ten. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Eusjian. And after the nice stiff bar, the next way throws him quickly for the stop. From the 47 and second and five. Here's Montana to throw. And this one is he's complete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. Throw out of shit ass. That's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Oh, my God. Washington will take control of the football in great field position. On first and 10, it's Gibson. Well, some contact, but unable to reach the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now wins. Looking for McLaurin, and he's going to get And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Wentz finding McLaurin there for the Commanders first. Wentz gonna throw. Oh, what the? Thank you. 
Not nice and clean, don't come back. Welcome to this ultimate challenge. Sit back and relax. You're in for a real treat with this match. Well, they gave the 60 yard a try, didn't make it. They got in a tough position defensively. This offense has it in midfield. Well done. well done. You've defeated this ultimate challenge. Now, if there are stars still available, you can always replay the challenge again. Otherwise, it's time to move on to the next one. It's like I get two fucking tackles. So the Cardinals offense ready to go on first and ten. Here's Murray from midfield. Able to get this one. And they're getting down as he's inside the 40. Short. They'll run the fullback. 
And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. So into their territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. That's going to be caught by Moss. And out of bounds, all the way down to the three. A gain of 39 that time. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives him the lead, and it took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they take the lead out in front at 13 to 12. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still serves all the way through. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on the defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, when you score the touchdown, it seals it. And that is set up pretty nicely. He was going to head up to the 35-yard line. So now Fields and the Bears down by one. Two on one remaining. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. to throw. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. So the Bears with a football here as we welcome you back. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Fields. And that'll be caught. It's safe now. Oh, what is Ronnie Lott? What are you doing? That one covers 29 yards. First down. Now we give running left to Montgomery. And he'll have it in the real zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. All eyes on fields. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And now Lock can make a play. Oh, no, he lost the ball. And this will be scooped up to the defense. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they call it up. I don't think next week in practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, I mean, you look at it from the, the offense's perspective. Taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. That one looks like he'll throw here. That one complete down the field. He goes out. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A big pick up there without question. That should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Nicely done. Another one up, another one down. Keep grinding and keep racking up those wins. Yeah.